Morning. Yeah, good to be here. Looking forward to uh, you know the next four or five days and uh, getting ready for Minnesota. It seems like we just played them, but uh, obviously going up there, it sounds like there'll be a few spectators in the crowd, so it'll make uh, for a better atmosphere in regards to having nobody in the building. So looking forward to it and uh, another step in our progression as uh, we enter February. Todd Maluski. Hey, Mark, you've talked about that progression a lot. Um, how, where are you in that? Where did you get before the, the week off and how have you used the week off to turn into the next part of the progression, which is really this run up through February into the postseason? Well, having the weekend off obviously is, uh, I mean, it can be good and bad depending on how you approach it and where you are, uh, you know, the health of your team. And so, you know, if you have kids that are banged up a little bit, it gives you a little extra time to get those kids uh, back feeling better. But, uh, you know, we use the week uh, uh, to, to really work on some things that, uh, that make us better. And so uh, we practiced on Monday and Tuesday. We took Wednesday off and then uh, continued with the rest of the week. So uh, you can do things, I think, in a, in a bye weekend where, you know, when you're getting prepped to, to play a team on a particular weekend, uh, you know, your practices are set up a little bit different. So uh, it was good time. I mean, we had eight games. We had four weekends of play. And so, uh, again, you know, where was our conditioning level? Uh, you know, the last weekend we played against St. Cloud compared to where we, you know, the first couple of games after a break against uh, Mankato. So, uh, you know, we've made progressions in those areas. And as I said uh, a month ago, you need games to get into game shape. And so obviously the competition has been strong and good. And uh, now we'll get tested as we go to Minnesota. We had a question from Jess Myers. Hi, Mark. Uh, heading into that series just a couple of weeks ago in your building, Brad Frost talked a lot about his defense and about how Warren Bench had played so well for his team in goal. You were able to score a, a fair amount of goals on them. Is there a, is there a secret to that and, and stuff that you can replicate going into their building? Well, if there's a secret uh, and you know it, let me know it. So then I'll have an idea and have that in my back pocket. But, uh, you know, the history of this, uh, you know, weekend uh, when we play Minnesota, uh, you know, it, it's about competing. It's about taking your opportunities, uh, whether it's killing a penalty or scoring on a power play. And uh, usually one or two things uh, within the context of the game uh, usually ends up making the difference. But, uh, you know, we're focused on, you know, what we need to do to continue, uh, you know, clarifying, you know, who we are and what we are. And, uh, you know, we're getting a lot closer than we were a month ago. But, you know, part of that is playing games, traveling a little bit. Uh, doing things as a team and, and everybody getting to know one another a little bit better uh, than the early part of the season. Uh, it's still challenging because of some of the restrictions that everybody has to deal with as far as uh, staying, you know, distance. But, uh, you know, our games up in Skate Cloud, we were fortunate enough to, to have team meals together, which was a big step. And, uh, you know, as the players get to know one another better, obviously they get more comfortable. And then the expectations of everybody in their roles everybody just gets more comfortable uh, with where we're at and where they're at. Uh, generally, if you're in that position, you can go on the ice. And as I've always said, you're playing free and, and not worrying about mistakes and doing what you can do to help the team win. Question from Alec. Hi, Mark. Uh, no doubt this weekend is a crucial series, but how crucial are these kind of final six games here to not only wrap out the month, but the regular season? Well, it's, uh, I mean, to me, it's good and bad. The good is, uh, you know, knock on wood, we get the six games in. The bad is it's like all of a sudden the season's over. I mean, right when you get started, uh, you get in good habits as far as, you know, what your daily routine looks like. The players, you know, are solidifying and doing things on the ice <clears throat> better than we, you know, we did earlier. And uh, then all of a sudden it's over. Uh, so that to me is the bad part, but, you know, as I've said before, it's, you know, the year is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be goofy in some spots. And at the end of the day, uh, as I said, you know, four or five weeks ago, you know, you want to get yourself in position so that you're playing well, you know, the middle part of this month. And as we approach February, uh, I'm sure Brad feels the same way. It's good to play against each other. You know, we'll get a feel of where we are uh, as we enter February and 
uh, you know, we both can come back and, you know, I'll come back on Monday and, and figure out what things we did well up in Minneapolis, some of the things that we need to continue to work on, and then really hone in as we finish up the, you know, our home schedule against Bemidji. And then uh, again, unfortunately, we have a weekend off in between our games uh, against Bemidji and going up to Duluth. But, uh, you know, once we finish up with Duluth, then it becomes one and dones and your season can be extended if you're playing well and winning, uh, and it can be over real fast. So. Uh, that's the fun part of our business. You prep, you do what you need to do to get yourself in position to be playing at a high level, uh, and then you go play the game. Follow-up question from Todd. Mark, how has Natalie Bookbinder been doing in these last few weeks since she came back from her injury, and what ha does having her in the lineup allow you guys uh, to be able to do from a defensive perspective and also on the power plays? Well, I think, you know, for the off weekend, uh, you know, there's a player that it helped. And so, you know, she was able to play the four games, you know, obviously going up against Minnesota in her first two games and then going up to St. Cloud and, and playing on a very large ice surface, uh, which, you know, demands a lot more skating. And so for her, you know, those four games put her in a position to get up to, you know, a little bit better game shape. And then last week, you know, you're able to have a couple, three or four heavy practices with her to continue that uh, progression to getting in good shape. But uh, the one thing she's able to do for us is, uh, you know, with her being on the ice and uh, her ability to play at a real high level and make good decisions with the puck, uh, generally we will have the puck more on our sticks uh, when she's on the ice than, than chasing around. Uh, the other part of it is, you know, she takes minutes away from the other people. So instead of, you know, early on, Grace Bobie, you know, playing, uh, you know, a lot of minutes, uh, you know, it, it just balances our, our defensive core and the minutes out uh, so everybody, everybody can manage themselves a little bit better. But uh, she's a big positive and certainly she showcased herself uh, the weekend against Minnesota when she first came back. Uh, 